2008, you mentioned that many of us took a bath, and if you stayed in, then you're mm -hmm. okay because it did. It has rebounded. But for a lot of folks, they look at it as this last decade has been referred to as the lost decade, mm -hmm. a really difficult time. When you look at clients' portfolios, how do you talk to them about measuring their success? How do you actually determine a client's success? Well, the uh, lost decade refers to 2000 to 2009 because we had two big drops in the market, uh, the tech wreck 2000 to 2002 and then the financial crisis of 2008 into 2009. And if you look at the Standard & Poor's 500 index and the return for that 10-year period of time, it was basically about a break even or maybe even slightly negative and so people th say it was the lost decade your money didn't earn anything but actually following a balanced strategy that we advocate having some money in stocks and somebody in uh, in bonds and rebalancing back to that uh, periodically as the market goes up and down you didn't do so bad in the so-called lost decade because in 2000 2002 as stocks were going down you became overweighted in bonds and then we sell off some of the bonds and buy stocks which forces you to buy low and then as the market recovered and went up through 2005 up to 2007, you had to sell some of your stocks to buy bonds because you were overweighted in, in, uh, in bonds. And then again in 2008 as the market went down. So rebalancing, actually a balanced 60-40 portfolio did somewhere closer to 7 or 8%, which is hardly a lost decade. But we consider uh, the success of a client based on whether they can achieve their goals. And as I look back on what our portfolios have done and what our clients have done, None of our clients have ever had to take a pay cut. Most of our clients are retired and they're living off of income off of their portfolio. And if they followed our advice for what is a safe withdrawal rate, not overspending their portfolio, uh, they never had to take a reduction in their distributions from their accounts. When the markets went down, they were able to maintain their distributions. There were years when we couldn't take raises to keep pace with inflation because we needed to allow the portfolios to recover. But I consider that to be a huge success because if you look at so many people that were doing it on their own, their returns have been subpar, or even worse, those people that were doing it in fixed income. A lot of people had everything sitting in bonds, and back when bonds were paying 10 or 11%, that was great. But over the years, interest rates have come down to where they're only getting 2% now on those bond portfolios, and inflation has probably increased the cost of their living by 50% or more, and so that's a huge uh, loss for them that they can never recover.